I kept having dreams last night of me being eaten by lions. Three of them. I can't remember one of them, but one of them was I was on a car trying to kick a lion off from trying to eat me. The second or third dream was that I was be between two mattresses. And I was, like, lions were trying to get into the mattress and they were pushing in the blankets far enough until they started nipping at me. And then I was like, I'm done. Peace out. And so I woke up. It was about 3 in the morning. And then I went back to sleep and guess what I started dreaming about? I was dreaming about feeding a lion. I was feeding him all sorts of fancy meats from my refrigerator and he was kind of like a dog and I'm kind of tossing it. I knew he was a lion so I was a little intimidated but I was just throwing him like sausages and tuna and fancy whatever um, cuts of meat. <laughs> and then eventually um, he wasn't able to find certain meats I uh, threw out at him so I led him to him. And he realized he didn't like this particular kind of sausage because it had something in it. So he told me, um, I don't like this kind of sausage and I, I want you to have some sausage. And so I sat down and I ended up eating with a lion rather than being eaten by a lion in the middle of a field, just chilling out, eating <laughs> sausage with a lion. Ah, oh, this is so weird. Now, it's not the first time I've been eaten by lions before in dreams. But anyway, manipulation. <laughs> so there's a question by Sasha. Um, she was wondering... Um, for a video in I was wondering if INTPs excel at manipulation in relationships or friendships and can find their way out of things and make the other person feel like the antagonist. I have an INTP friend who is highly manipulative and doesn't seem to notice 80% of the time. Are you prone to having the ability or this ability or is this something you learn as a defense mechanism? <clears throat> yeah. So, um, yes unfortunately and but this is something I recognized in myself growing up and I have heavily deterred from it and, or not really deterred from because there's good manipulation as weird as that sounds um, I use manipulation now to hope to have people hopefully recognize things about themselves and just kind of twist things around and have them kind of self-aware themselves I guess um, but yeah when I was younger I would always um, try to get other people to feel like they're the bad person bad person um or if i just wanted them to feel a certain way i knew how to like like socially manipulate to get people to feel a certain way for certain people yeah i was terrible <laughs> and so um other manipulative thing or manipulative things it's not bad manipulation but it's like if you're embarrassed um like let's say having to go to the bathroom for some reason if you're embarrassed about going to the bathroom um you might you might like tell people like a whole bunch of different people like just different feelings that you're having or something that's going on and so like if it's supposed to say you need to go upstairs put deodorant on or, or you need to go upstairs change your your shirt and you've kind of like made other people know that you need this to happen and so when you go upstairs <laughs> people what they think is what you're you're going to to change or something but what really is happening is that you're about to uh, have a bowel explosion <laughs> you know but like it's just something where it's just you're very i know i just said that online but like something you're very embarrassed about and so you want other people to think that you're doing something else um and so you you kind of set the stage before you take action and instead of just going it's probably just easier to do that and get it over with but um it's probably in the same mindset where um, there's either some kind of embarrassment, but there's also wanting other people to, you know, just feel, I don't, because, like, I don't really know where it comes from, because I know other types do this, so, like, there's an ENTP, who's my previous boss, who is highly, highly manipulative, and will use anything to make it your fault, in one way or another, and I actually, well, quit, because, or, we, it was one of those things where it's like it was a quit fire and we're just like yeah we'll just go our separate ways <laughs> and, um and so i don't think it's strictly intp related like maybe it's just um different types use different methods maybe different reasons um let me look over your question real quick um but yeah so like the the realization of it i think they realize it unless it becomes like a a knee-jerk reaction and everything they do is trying to evade because like with INTPs we don't like you know failure we have a huge feel fear of failure and so if it's if it's placed on another person then it's no longer our failing that it has to worry about and then they feel bad about it um, I unfortunately did this um, like in a relationship and this was back like a 
long time ago, like 10 years ago when I was stupid, <laughs> um, high school relationship, and I somehow try to get the girl to make it was feel like it was her fault, but at the same time, I felt, yeah, it's one of those things where, like, INTPs can be very emotionally stupid, we have a very poor emotional intelligence, um, and so since then, I've been very cautious and trying to learn, like, just emotional intelligence and all that stuff about myself and what I feel and why I feel and all the noodly stuff that gets to where you finally, or like why you're behaving the way you do. Um, and so unfortunately I manipulated the social structure and her, and her mind to think that she was the one and um, she was the problem. But it was me all along and, and it was also a miscommunication all along. It was just stupid. <laughs> it was the stupidest thing. And I, we all have things we're not proud of, um, but it, it is a self-defense, um, declare, like, just to take away anything from, like, having other people get the weight, and we no longer are failing, um, but I think it goes to this, it's not nihilism, it's, uh, just where you're just kind of not morally detached, but there's, um, and kind of, I guess, any thinker types kind of have this, where they kind of, they, they use, they use um, they use uh, emotion structure to emulate emotion, but we truly don't feel that emotion because we're just we're not born with that kind of um, emotive feelings like maybe feelers would, um, but they would manipulate a different way. But what we would do is we know people respond when we res when we resemble a certain kind of emotion. Um, and to get either what we want or it moves the social structure or we or that person feels a certain way um, And for whatever reason it could be all sorts of different reasons, but we'll imitate or imitate um, certain emotions or certain reactions um, And so actually I did this with also my boss, but I did that because To kind of save myself because he he was literally insane and he needed he wanted certain kinds of reactions in order for anything to work, and so I had to pretend I, you know, felt certain ways or something. It was stupid. I hate that. I hate that job. Anyway, um, but yeah. So like, and even you know, younger. Um, but so, a manipulation can actually be a very good thing. And I was actually pondering on wanting to use or make a video on manipulation and like the bads and the actual goods of it because you can do manipulation like imitating certain feelings and things like that to get a certain reaction to have people in, in like if you're guiding them in a good way like you're wanting them to either self-reflect or or help them find the source of an issue or um helping them like recognize you know what's the right thing to do like if it's forgiving somebody or or, or whatever you know just you can use those manipulative things to to lead them in that direction but it's you're doing it for their benefit and not your benefit and I think it's I think you can do that and manipulation can be twisted um, to or either end good or bad and so uh, yeah and so I hope that kind of makes sense and answers your question there's there's a lot there and I think it's dependent on every INTP or anybody really because I not just INTPs manipulate um, but more specifically INTPs do that social manipulation, they um, uh, they will, oh, they'll also, this is what I do sometimes, I still do it sometimes, where um, you make kind of a big deal about something. People, someone does something and you kind of make a big deal about it, like, and they, they feel terrible, or they realize, oh, that was a really bad thing to do, but then you end up becoming their hero by going oh no don't worry about it you know or something or something like that but you what you do is kind of like you put them in a vulnerable place so that you can come to become the hero or just not even just the hero but like oh wow he seems to be a decent or not decent but just like a easygoing guy like he was he was a um there's this thing that i did but you're making like the intp at least for me, me and this other like josiah we talked about this where it's like we'll make it into a, something that seems negative just so that we can react positive to it um that's a pretty big uh, <laughs> uh thing and I, I still do that sometimes because like it's social manipulation but what you're trying to do is that you're trying to set up like i am a good person but you don't 
no, you don't. You, you take the easy route. You know, you make thing. You kind of create this um, person, but it's not truly out of practical um, evidences, if that makes sense. Um, and so that's something I have to be careful of sometimes. Um, so yeah, so those are like because manipulation. There's there's all sorts of little threads there. So I hope that answers your question, Sasha. Thank you so much for your question. If you guys have a question, let me know. Um, INTPs that are manipulative, what do you do? Um, and do you recognize that you do that? Um, do you recognize the bad manipulation that you do? Do you ever find yourself trying to do good manip manipulation? Other people that feel like you're being manipulated, what makes you feel manipulated? Let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in another video, another life. You never know. Lions, man. Lions. <laughs>